Welcome back to my channel, you guys. If you're new with me today, my name is Kelly, and we're about to jump right into the video today. As you can tell, probably by the title of this video, I am going to reviewing Kylie Jenner's 24K birthday collection, you guys. This collection, okay, it's kind of old by now, like, we're in September. Her birthday was what? Was it August or was it July? I don't, I don't even remember, but y'all, y'all know that I do not do YouTube full time. Well, if you don't know, now you know, I don't do this full time. So I get to these things when I can basically pretty much. And you know, I have a life, I have a full time job, I have to do basically. <laughs> I have stuff to do, okay you guys? So anyways, let's talk about today's products okay so this collection came with a ton of ton of products and i think i pretty much got everything i did try to purchase the entire collection so first let's talk about the palettes you guys this is the 24k birthday collection palette it looks really really pretty it's gold all over and then of course kylie's like smack dab in the middle in a nice gold glittery two piece i mean she looks great so let's open up the palette. It's perfect. <laughs> it's perfect, you guys. Look at these shades, and I'm just gonna get closer so you guys can see. These are the shades that I'm gonna be working with today. They are super pretty. My hope is that these shades are really pigmented. I believe that, I think this is one of her first like eyeshadows since she's relaunched her um, cosmetics line. I'm not really sure, but I do believe that this is the only shadows that she has released so far. So I'm really interested to see if they're gonna be pigmented, if they're gonna crumble, or if there's gonna be a lot of fallout because as you guys can see today, I already have my face on, like foundation, uh, concealer, powder, it's all on my face. This is so abnormal for me. I like to do my eyes first, but I thought, what the heck, let me have my brows on camera and everything so we can just get right into the collection. So let's get into the rest of the products before we start on the eyes today. Um, it also came with this lip serum. It looks like this. It just, to me, reminds me of a you know clear gloss that's really cute. Nothing to brag on. She also came out with four, I don't know if these are lip glosses. These actually say, lip shine lacquer so i don't really know what a lacquer is but it ain't a gloss it ain't a tint and it ain't liquid lipstick so we have lacquers today to try let's see what the shades are called we have 24 two more life one time for the birthday wear af the collection also came with two liquid eyeliners they look like this these are really cute. One's, I wanna say one's rose gold and the other one is gold. And then, of course, the infamous highlighter. Um, this is the shade Good as Gold. So the packaging looks like this. And then we have this shade. It's really gold, so I'm nervous for that one. And then the other two products we have, I'm probably not gonna try these two, but we have a body glow this is a liquid highlighter that i'm assuming you put on your shoulders I'm not showing my shoulders so you guys aren't gonna see that <laughs> um i have this all over gloss and this has um this says that it's for multi-use so i've seen different people use it in different ways putting it on their face putting it on their eyelids but yeah let's get into the eyes hold on one second before we get into the eyes i'm just gonna go ahead and apply this lip serum because y'all know your girl can be ashy so I'm gonna just try this on first because I need my lips to be moisturized so here's the applicator mm. this has an interesting an interesting smell I'm not sure if it's just me but it's smelling a little play-doughy and I don't know how I feel about that because like, I just feel like all the scents that, you know, they have all these different types of technologies these days and I feel like the gloss should smell like sugar, vanilla, something, okay? So it feels good on the lips. It's like, it's really thin. I would say it's more like a lip oil and I mean, it's called a lip serum, so 
I thought it would be a little bit thicker, but it feels like an oil on my lips to me. So getting in the eye look today, I'm not really sure what I'm going for, but I think I am going to swatch a few colors for you guys just because I want to see what these glitters are looking like, okay? So I just swatched four and they're honestly not that bad. The colors I swatched are Exquisite, Go For Gold, Fine Metal, and Better Than Gold. Okay, so those are kind of cute, but of course we know today I'm not just going to go in with a glitter. I'm going to try out one of these mattes and see what we're working with. So to start out today's makeup look, I think I'm going to take the darkest shade in the palette and that is called Moments in Time. So... So far, the color payoff is really good. I've only dipped back into the palette, what, twice? Um, I'm a little shocked because I was thinking that, I don't know, I just wasn't thinking that I would get that much color payoff, but that's a good thing, you guys. You don't want a palette where you have to keep constantly and constantly dipping in. You wanna be able to dip and blend and blend, okay? Like you wanna be able to dip and blend and then go on about your business, okay? Another thing that I was nervous about so far is fallout because like I said, I already did my base off camera. So I'm like, mm, is there gonna be makeup all over my cheeks? But I'm having a really good experience so far. So I'm just gonna vibe. <laughs> So now I have this cute brown pretty much laid down on my eye look. I want to expand my eye a lot more. So I'm gonna go in with the shade um, Pull Up. Y'all, I'm kind of shook right now. Like, it's giving the vibes, okay? Like, I, I don't know. Like, okay, pause. I just want to say, I saw a lot of videos on YouTube of people reviewing this collection, and they were kind of saying, like, it's not good. Okay, granted, if you have all of these shades already, then you probably aren't going to want to buy the palette. However, if you're, like, new to the makeup game and you're just looking for a new palette, there are a lot of nice neutrals and nudes, you know, those neutral colors that you need to begin your makeup with or to do like nice neutral eyes or nude eyes. And I just think that for what it's worth, the palette is like 60 to $65. Yes, you can find this somewhere else. However, the formula is pretty good in my opinion. And most of the formulas that I really like are Morphe and ColourPop. So that says a lot. That's only two actually. <laughs> All right, you guys, so let's move into the next shade and I hope I don't ruin everything, but I'm going to fade into my brow bone a nice yellow. Um, I think I'm gonna take the shade um, Such A Gem. Yeah, that's really pretty, a really pretty fade.
I'm actually mixing in Seize the Day as well. Because this one is a little bit more of a mustard yellow. And it's just giving vibes for me. Now I'm going back in with the brush that I used with Pull Up and just blending that. Okay, so now it's time for our lid shade and I'm literally debating on what to do for this shade because I don't know there are just so many different shades I think I'm gonna mix two I feel like that's really extra but that's what I'm feeling right now y'all these two together pop it okay let me do that again Y'all, this is a cute, like, girl. This real cute. I ain't even gonna, them two glitters. I don't even know what to say. So, let me do some eyeliner real quick, pop on my lashes, and I'll be right back. So, I popped on some lashes and kind of did some, you know, a little something to my bottom lash line. So, I'm ready to try on the lip lockers now. So basically what I'm gonna do is try all four shades on for you guys and then pick my perfect combo. So pretty much I'm just gonna try the shades on but I'm not gonna do a liner because then it'll be hard and I'll mess up my foundation and whatnot. So I'm just gonna start. So the first shade I'm trying on is 24. The applicator looks the same as the serum, so. So here's the shade 24. It is very pink. Um, I actually wasn't thinking that it would look this pink. I was thinking it would be like dustier, maybe a little bit more rose, but it's still cute, so I'm just gonna move into the next shade. The next shade is Two More Life. Two More Life looks a bit more ashy on me. It's an even lighter pink and I'm not really feeling this at all. On top of that, you guys, I don't really think I like these lacquers. They are like thick. It's like a thick, thick, thick gloss. Not like a regular thick gloss that we like that makes you, you know, feel like your lips aren't gonna be chapped, but it's like, like thick, like I don't like it. <laughs> the next shade we're trying today is One Time for the Birthday. Y'all know I try not to cuss on my channel. <laughs>
so this one is more like a coral pink and I actually like this one this is really cute um, I would pick this one over the last two that I just tried <laughs> last but not least we have rare AF so I'm gonna try this one on next Okay, I had a feeling I was gonna like this one the best. I was gonna put on a lip liner with it, but it's actually really cute without one. So, rare AF, y'all. If you're gonna purchase any of the lip lacquers out of the birthday collection, definitely hop on that one because it's this nude, okay? This is my type of nude. Like, for my skin complexion, you know what I'm saying? Like, it looks good on me. <laughs> so, I thought I was gonna use the eyeliners today, but I'm not. But I'm just going to swatch them for you guys anyways because I feel like that's only right. Here we have Made of Gold and Heart of Gold. I'm not going to lie, I'm glad I didn't put these on today because they're not like drying down. Like I thought a liquid eyeliner would like dry down, but I guess I was wrong. Um, well, my other liquid eyeliners dry down, so I don't know. I feel like this one would just be really messy and it wouldn't stick to my eye for some reason. So... Yeah, we're not going to put these on. But let's move on into the final product today. This baby right here. Now, there's been a lot of controversy about this one because they're saying like it looks like Trophy Wife, which is Rihanna's um, highlighter from Fenty Beauty. And I'm not going to lie, it does look like Trophy Wife. And I don't own Trophy Wife, but if you already have that, I'm pretty sure it's the same thing, okay? You know what I mean? So I would say... Maybe you could skip out on this product, but I'm gonna try it on for you guys anyway. Okay, yeah, y'all. This one is definitely beaming. And I'm not used to, like I don't really wear highlight like that anymore, but it came with the collection, so of course I'm gonna try it out. So you guys, here we have our final look and I'm not gonna lie, I'm impressed overall with the makeup. Should you buy the collection? No. I think you should pick and choose the products that work best for you. Like I said, I actually like the palette. Like as far as pigmentation, the formula, it didn't crumble, I didn't have any fallout, like what? So the palette, I'm gonna go out on a limb and I'm gonna go ahead and give it an 8 out of 10 because it's really a nice palette like if you don't have these colors already definitely why not i feel like splurging on yourself or whatever girl i'm all for it um the glosses well lacquers i only like the last shade <laughs> like the other one that i liked before the last shade let's see what they were called one time for the birthday was cute but it wasn't all that it's not like a color i'm gonna reach for every day this is the one rare af buy this one buy this one if you're going to buy any of them at all um the liquid eyeliners oh actually it did dry down to a nice little i don't know i would say give these a chance right now based off like my little hand right here i would give them maybe a six out of ten um i wasn't overly impressed with them um as far as the highlighter like i said if you already have trophy wife you know, it's okay, girl. You don't have to get this one. Um, for the highlighter, I'm going to go ahead and give it a 7 out of 10 because it's a nice formula. But would I wear this gold? No. Like, I'm not going to wear this every day. I don't even wear highlight every day. But gold, probably not at all. Like, very much. Maybe a couple times a year. That's just me, personally. But yeah, if you guys made it this far, make sure you guys go ahead and give me a huge thumbs up. I'm so excited all the time to be with you guys. I can't wait to release more videos and just have more fun and do more makeup looks. Also, if you're new to my channel today, go ahead and subscribe, girl, so you can see the rest of the videos that I got prepared for this year because I'm coming with the heat, okay? Um, <laughs> but yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, you guys.